EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to a sold-out and absolutely rocking Superdome here in downtown New Orleans. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. And off we go. We're underway in this NFC wild card game. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run right there. And we talk this time of year about certain teams, certain players who don't have a lot of postseason history to speak of. And here's a man right here in his rookie season in the NFL, and he's being asked to carry the load at running back for this offense. And he has acquitted himself nicely here in his rookie year. And look, I think we both believe that the burden is a little lighter on backs and receivers than it is on quarterbacks in the playoffs. But that's not to say this is going to be easy. As fast as the NFL game is in the regular season, it's like warp speed when you turn the pressure up in the postseason. So let's see how he handles things early. They'll look to throw now on first down. Here's Fuller with a catch. Touchdown, New Orleans. Will Fuller, 33 yards. And the Saints will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Lutz good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And no return on this one as the fair catch a signal four and take it. second round pick this is Joe Mixon and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down but from an offensive perspective that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards but let's flip it over to the defensive side they now have the advantage three three yard gains that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down that's what you're looking for when you're playing defense Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, a give to Mixon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Go, 
Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach and his future with this franchise. Uh, look, it's been a frustrating year, and I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier in the week. Yeah, he's trying to say all the right things, isn't he? But he's heard the rumors. He knows what's going on out there. And right now, he is tired of having to answer the question, are you on the hot seat in every meeting with reporters? This week, he kind of said, I've had enough, and I don't blame him. He looks like a guy that may very well be out the door. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be third down. You know, you're following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under. CD, I want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams, but I know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well. How do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. In a sense, you have to back off a little bit. You have to do a little bit less. Do what you're supposed to do, but don't take on the pressures of doing more and trying to do your teammates' jobs as well. If you do that, that's really going to lead you to more issues. Over the middle, that's caught by Schwartz. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five now. Jackson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down and goal. Jackson, they'll set up the screen here to mix him. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. This is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Denzel Mims, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. 
After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. The last run got six, now second and four. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Throwing is Jackson. He'll drop this one down to Nixon, and he's taken down inside the 30. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down, so now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? down. Mixon. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Here's Jackson to throw. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack is a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, Jackson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. His second catch of this wild card game and it goes for a first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And a tackle there by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Mixon will try the right side. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense 
the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Mixon. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up-tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer out him again. On second and goal, one man stands in the backfield, and that's Mixon. They get it to him running left, and he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Joe Mixon punching it in from a yard away, and the Falcons have taken the lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good, and that makes the score 14-7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. set for their next drive the New Orleans offense that 7 nothing lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by 7 yeah but no cause for discouragement here yeah they've fallen behind but haven't they proven that they can go down and score so what was the formula that got them down there the first time get back to something close to that and maybe they get this game tied up Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fuller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Out of the gun now on third down. They'll roll him out right. He's letting this one go for Fuller. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, New Orleans. Will Fuller with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Lutz 
to try to end the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. No return here for Calais, and this will be a touchback. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and Charles the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game yeah I like your description there maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game but let's face it right now the way it's going back and forth it's going to come down to who can get a stop a short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. on third down no problems to this point a perfect five for five this is third and seven here's Jackson and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete that could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track they've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half after that possession now they know that they can compete with this offense. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. at the half we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year we'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl now a play fake here on first down 
He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. Seven yards to pick up there. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. He'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw again. Rolling to his right. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, eluding the pressure right. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. On play action, they'll throw. That's to Thomas, who makes a nice catch. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open man is the tight end Troutman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Fuller. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Working with second and five now. to throw again on the move to his left and he's got him it's caught in the end zone touchdown New Orleans Will Fuller as the first half is winding down and the Saints have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half Lutz will look down the extra point It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A 
about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they'll take over with just 18 ticks remaining. Jackson's throw into the hands of Pitts here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jackson now. Dumps it off to Mixon. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. To throw again on second down. Jackson. He sets to fire deep. And that is incomplete. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. Throwing again on second and 10. Jackson. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They were influenced to release, and they did force the incomplete pass. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Demario Davis gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fielded just inside the 30. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Second and nine now. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. He'll drop to throw. Fuller brings it in over the middle. 
And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. set up to throw. He'll buy some time right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And now here's a carry heading left. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Looking to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam. And he broke that one up. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And Lutz puts this one through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And they get the football. They set up shop at their own 49-yard line. That throw, Charles, on the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, 
an interception can result. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and putting the ball in the end zone, throwing it, he had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. Now a handoff here to his running back. And some room to roll now. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Give him 30 yards there. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Touchdown, Saints! With a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Lux with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Lux to kick it off. Fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Play action. Now Jackson. Rolling to his right. Throwing left side. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Jackson. Looking for Mims, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. The 20. Bring it! And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. That's good on the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Raymond Calais now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and following the pick six and they have decent field position in throwing that and he's taken down back in his own seven Emmanuel Agba what a play by him that's going to go as a loss of 13 now then after the sack it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23 another try after the first down sack Jackson and he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. 
Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And he's going to return it to the 21 yard line. Well, you were backed up into a second and long, but instead of trying to get the yardage back in chunks, he's trying to get it all back at once. And this defense was just lying in wait, and they're there to pick this one off. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. That is hold in by Michael Thomas. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in. And the Saints continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Lutz with the extra point. And that will extend this big lead. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round nothing has gone right so far and they are to be frank in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten and he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five Looked like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now it's Jackson. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Jackson will throw again. Escaping the pressure right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Falcons on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and ten. Now it's Jackson. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Jackson on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Check, check, check. 
To throw once more on second and ten. Jackson. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And got his man complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. They'll look to throw now on first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. To the right side and complete to Thomas. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll set up a throw, rolling to his left. Throw left side complete to Troutman. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short. And it's fourth down. They'll try and run for it. They're able to keep the drive alive.